Hello, welcome back to TMS TV. We're live from the show floor at The Meeting Show in London. My name is James Lancaster and I'm joined by Fabian Rigby, who is business development at BMA House. That's the British Medical Association, isn't it? So yeah, right. how's your day been? Uh, very good so far. Thank you very much for having me. Um, it's been great here to see uh, so many people, uh, whole countries to smaller events and hotels. So it's been a fantastic day so far. Have you exhibited here before? Or is this, your... uh, this is my first time, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. I've got another full day tomorrow, so uh, really looking forward to getting the most out of it. So BMA House, that's the home of the British Medical Association. Just tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, so we're based, um, we are BMA House. We're based uh, just by Tavistock Square. Um, in central London, uh, we're an events and uh, corporate uh, venue. Uh, we very much run uh, sustainability through everything we do. Um, we have multiple uh, events uh, every week uh, and we really try and keep on top of trends uh, and uh, keep in the sort of current flow of things uh, globally and around the UK. And it's a very nice building isn't it? It's sort of uh, yeah. Georgian. Uh, grade 2 listed, um, very beautiful building, front courtyard um, and that expands all the way around really trying to incorporate uh, uh, modernity into our events as well as having that very heritage feel when you enter. Yeah, that must be tricky though to have a building that's listed uh, has old features, I'm thinking old staircases, sash windows probably. Yeah. How, how big a challenge is it to, to maintain sustainability from an energy perspective, etc., in a building like that? Of course, yeah. We would really try and break down the dogma associated with grade two listed buildings and that they aren't sustainable. And we really do try and make every effort to uh, prove that they are. Yeah. Um, and uh, over the last 18 months, it's been a mission to really uh, do that. Uh, we've managed to reduce water by 5.4 million uh, liters by implementing smart water technology. Uh, we've managed to reduce our footprint to just under 70% uh, for carbon uh, footprint for our delegates, uh, which is great. Uh, we've also introduced uh, a bit situated where we are for transport links. It's ideal. We're five minutes from Euston, ten minutes from King's Cross, uh, and we've implemented a clean air walking route so uh, you can avoid that nasty road of Euston Square yeah. with all the cars on it. Um, consciously making an effort to do that really helps the flow of people seeing us as a not only a, a very good venue but also one that is sustainable and lives and breathes it. So you've reduced the carbon footprint of your delegates by 68 percent since 2018 I think 69 69 yeah. how have you managed to do that give us a couple of examples of how, how um, so we really do try and incorporate into three pillars so in our um, in our infrastructure in our catering um, and uh, in the way we sort of run events too uh, we have a lot of um, we grow our own herbs in our garden in our venue and our actual venue for our cafe which is then recycled into our dishes which is then in, recycled into our own staff uh, cafe so yeah. we really do have that approach that sustainability is in the heart of everything we do and there needs to be that balance too I think often people think sustainability is an effect on uh, the quality of things but that mm. isn't the case at all we, and it's about striking a balance between the two uh, and understanding that you can have those things available uh, and demonstrate that um, in a measurable way. Are you taking more more meat off the menu so that's right yeah. so uh we do for our we've actually uh, introduced a set menu for our hot fort buffet packages yeah. uh for our events um and it's really brought to light the fact that people actually do do like pe people deciding what mm. they want to eat and they don't they aren't that fussy and uh, reducing red meat obviously is a massive thing which everyone is looking at and we've actively done that uh, as well as approaching it in other bits around the area um of food as well there's no compromise in quality is now. Is there? My, my colleague, uh, Paul Harvey, MIT editor, is doing a vegan-free trade show, and he's <laughs> yeah. found it very, very easy. Yeah, it's yeah. It's going to be a boring feature, but <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. in many ways it's good, because he's, you know, he's... Quality of the food, the variety of the food is just there now. It's yeah, to be a, I and I feel people are willing to try it. You know, we are really creative in the way we have fabulous chefs who work in our venue, and they really do make every effort to make sure that our dishes are, uh, you know, very elaborately displayed and yeah. are appealing to people who maybe do find that quite strange and who are uh, open for more conservative uh, yeah. uh, meal choices. Um, and we're very conscious of that, and we try and do uh, see that in the way we run events too. So you say you've got your own herb garden. That's right, yeah. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, yeah, yeah, no, and it really does smell amazing, especially this time of year in the summer. Uh, it's really good to have it there. So, in terms of sustainability, are you seeing real pressure from your clients now for, in terms of RFPs, when people come to yeah. you with a request? Because I think in the meetings industry, we're sort of living in a bit of a silo. We think, oh, yeah, people, people say, 
that's coming from the client side and everyone sort of echoes that sentiment. Yeah. Is it really happening? Uh, I, 100%. Yeah. Uh, you can't deny it now. I think everyone is uh, not only wanting sustainable uh, ways in which they live their life, but also in what they attend and their interests. And I think it really is the forefront of what we should be looking at, uh, especially in our point of view from events um, and also in the way in which we can make a better and healthier environment for us all to live in. Uh, and that doesn't mean cutting corners. It just means being smart and proactive in the way we approach that. Great. Well, proactive and smart, I think, is a good message to, uh, to end that on. Fabian, thank you very much for your time. Um, and I'll be back in approximately 10 minutes. Thank you.